So there's a whole field of artificial life. I don't know if you're connected to this field, if you uh, pay attention. is Do you think about this kind of thing? Um, is there an impressive demonstration to you of artificial life? Do you think of the agents that you work with in the evolutionary computation uh, uh, perspective as life? Mm. And do you, where do you think this is headed? Like, is there interesting systems that will be creating more and more that uh, make us redefine, maybe rethink about the nature of life? Mm. Different levels of definition and goals there. That, I mean, in, at some level, artificial life uh, can be considered multi-agent systems that build a society that, again, achieves a goal. And it might be robots that go into a building and clean it up or, or after an earthquake or something. You can think of that as an artificial life problem uh, in some sense. Um, or you can really think of it, artificial life, as a simulation of life and a tool to understand what life is and how life evolved in, in, on Earth. And like I said, in the Artificial Life Conference, there are branches of that conference sessions of people who really worry about molecular designs and, and, and the start of life. Mm -hmm. like, the, like I said, primordial soup, where eventually you get something self-replicating. And they're really trying to build that. Um, so it's a whole range of, of, uh, of topics. Um, and I think that artificial life is a great tool uh, to understand life. And there are questions like sustainability, um, species, we're losing species. Uh, how bad is it? Is it natural? Uh, is there a tipping point? Um, and where are we going? I mean, like the hyena evolution, we may have understood that there's an, a pivotal point in their evolution. They, they discovered cooperation and coordination. Um, you know, artificial life simulations can identify that. And, uh, maybe encourage things like that. Um, so, and and also, societies can be seen as a form of life itself. I mean, we, we're not talking about biological evolution, but evolution of societies. Maybe some of the same phenomena emerge in in that uh, domain. And 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 having artificial life simulations and understanding could help us build better societies. Yeah, and thinking from a meme perspective of of uh, from um, Richard Dawkins that may be the organisms, ideas of the organisms, not the humans in, in these societies, that from, it's almost like reframing what is exactly evolving. That maybe the interesting, the humans aren't the interesting thing as the contents of our minds is, is the interesting thing. And that's what's multiplying. And that's actually multiplying and evolving at a much faster time scale. And that maybe has more power on the trajectory of life on earth than does biological evolution, yes. is the evolution of these ideas. Yes, and it's fascinating, like I said before, that we can keep up somehow biologically. Yeah, we have, We've evolved to a point where we can keep up with this meme evolution, mm -hmm. literature, you know, internet. Uh, yeah. We understand DNA and we understand fundamental particles. We didn't start that way, I mean, yeah. a thousand years ago, and we haven't evolved biologically very much, but yeah. somehow our minds are able to, uh, extend. Um, and, and therefore, AI can be seen also as one such step yeah. that we created, and it's our tool, uh, and it's part of that meme evolution that, that we create, even if our biological evolution does not progress as fast. Yeah, and, and us humans might only be able to understand so much. We're keeping up so far, or we think we're keeping up so far, but we might need AI systems to understand. Maybe like... Uh, the physics of the universe is operating like a string theory. Maybe it's operating on much higher dimensions. Maybe we're totally, because of our cognitive limitations, are not able to truly internalize the way this world works. And so our lim we're running up against the limitation of our own minds and we have to create these next level organisms like AI systems that would be able to understand much deeper, like really understand what it means to live in a, uh, multi-dimensional world that's outside of the four dimensions, the three of space and yeah. one, one, one and of time. Yeah, translation. And, and and generally we can deal with the world even if we don't understand all the details. We can use computers, yes. even though we don't. most of us don't know all the structure that's underneath or drive a car. I mean, there are many components, especially new cars that you don't quite fully know, mm -hmm. but you have the interface, you have an abstraction of it that allows you to operate it and utilize it. And I think that that's, that's perfectly uh, adequate and we can build on it. And AI can be a, a, play a similar role. 